All right, guys, Georgia Jim. I got the Jimmy Long's 18 thousandths intermediate set here. Uh, thought I'd uh, do a quick rundown and comparison of what you get with this pick set versus his basic set, which he uh, released not long ago. Uh, full disclosure before I get started. Uh, Jimmy had I do have a working relationship with Jimmy in the sense of he has been sending picks and stuff out for evaluation and testing for myself for myself and other uh, pickers so uh, that is the relationship I have with him when I tried to purchase this set he found out that I purchased it and refunded me so I just want to make sure I mentioned that in my last video when I reviewed this set but I wanted to make sure that's known in this video also for those who may not watch the other one uh, so, <clears throat> I, but I did purchase this set with my own money. He didn't know I bought it, so I was able to sneak past him. So, with this set here, um, at first I thought we were getting a little bit of redundancy in the picks with the rakes, but turns out they are actually two different sizes. The, uh, intermediate set includes the large triple cycloid, while this is his normal size, so... The frequency is just a little bit different, and they actually do work different on locks, uh, which I've found out while testing. Uh, the intermediate set, he adds two of his low hooks. These are shorter than short hooks, and these are very good for getting in tighter keyways, uh, getting under low cut pins. And we have the short on short on the left and the flat on the right. And just to show you a comparison of those with a, this is his flat short. So you see that uh, slight difference in lift. The uh, flat, the short gives you, is just slightly taller than these low profiles. Then we have his short round in the intermediate set. And again, there's that short flat for comparison. Uh, in my opinion, the rounds are better for tighter warding, restrictive warding. But for more open keyways, these flats are my personal favorites. I try to use these as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much another short hook. Uh, in the same same feel as the uh, flat. It's just, again, this uh, more rounded tip helps get through the warding a little better, in my opinion. Uh, he offers his uh, flat medium hook, which this is a hook I use quite a bit, especially on challenge locks and things like that. For whatever reason, it, it just makes the feedback make sense to me. And this is the medium from the basic set, the medium round for comparison. So, uh, so if you bought either set, you would not be, if you, I'm sorry, if you bought both sets, you wouldn't be getting any redundancy. Each, uh, each set does have its own things. There's nothing from this set that's going to be the same from this set. Uh, as far as the top of the keyway tensioners, these are very strong, very rigid tensioners. Uh, let me see. Is this a 30? Here's a 30 thousandths Peterson, which is pretty thick for 30, I mean, pretty stiff for 30 thousandths. And this is his 30 thousandths from Jimmy. And they are very comparable in thick and stiffness versus something like, let's see, this 30 thousandths from uh, Sparrows. The knurling just makes these weaker, in my opinion. But, uh, or multi pick. Let's see if this is. This is the 40. So we have the 40 from multi pick. Here's the 40 from uh, Jimmy. Again, both have very rigid. Of course, they have some flex to them, but uh, they have very good feedback to them. In the 50,000s tensioners, it's hard to mess up 50,000s. I'm not trying to be funny about it, but pretty much any 50,000s tensioner is pretty uh, pretty stiff and pretty strong. So 50,000s are an e a low bar to set, in my opinion. It's with the 30 and the 40s is where it really starts to matter. And uh, the Jimmy tensioners did very well here. So they do have some slight uh, marks from where they were laser cut. If I can get that, you probably see those. Yeah, there and come on. Yeah, there and there, but that's in my opinion, that's just uh, that's really just nitpicking. It's 
I'll never feel that while pick, while tensioning or picking, so it's not even a factor for me. Um, I think if you had already bought the basic set, this uh, this is a definitely a worthwhile uh, addition. Uh, the top of the keyway tensioners plus the different profiles give you a lot of versatility. Um, like I said, you know, if you guys watch my videos, you've seen me use Jimmy picks for a long time. These are outstanding picks, and the version fours are actually, in my opinion, better than the previous versions. Uh, the full tank construction did make the handles stiffer. I feel like they're thinner than the older ones. They, that may just be uh, placebo or... I don't know. I haven't measured them, but they do feel thinner in my hands. Uh, something like a Peterson for comparison. They're pretty comparable in thickness. So, uh, but at a much better, a much better price than these use 301 high weight yield while the Peterson use, uh, I think it's 420 or 440 government steel. But, uh, otherwise, uh, again, I think the, uh, Jimmy Long said it's a great set for guys. Uh, <clears throat> these are all in 18,000. So again, these are not pry bars. They're not weak by any means. Don't get me wrong, but they're not, uh, they're not as stiff as something like his 25 or 23,000 picks, something like that. But these are absolutely great picks can take a ton of abuse. So, uh, if you're on the fence about them, you know, take the plunge, maybe buy the basic set first and try them out. The double ended tensioners from these were, a great uh i really like these for bottom of the keyway and using these uh smaller ends to hook into hook in with the uh top of the keyway for float picking and stuff but i really don't care to use them as top of the keyway tensioners that much i prefer the pry bars but otherwise uh the intermediate set here is a great buy again i think it's 30 bucks for this set 20 for this set so for 30 bucks uh you're getting you're getting a lot of value for the price um jimmy is supposed to be releasing a case or a pick roll eventually so keep your keep your eyes out for that stuff um but otherwise uh check out jimmy long's guys uh give him your money get good picks and go open some locks